Thank you so much for tuning in to Break Up Like a Boss, the podcast, a podcast designed for you to break through like a boss. We are testing a little bit of stuff here because we used to do it just in the audio and now we're going to be uploading a whole bunch of uh, material to the YouTube channel and also to the website where you're going to be able to actually um, be able to download scripts and parts of the book that we are working on right now to um, really help you like navigate the love life and the dating life a little bit better, right? And the reason why... Arcelle and I are dressed like this today. And do you see her ears? Look at this, how cute. <laughs> it's because we um, are going to give you like a little preview of the Cinderella complex and the Peter Pan complex, right? Have you ever wondered, Arcelle, why in the Disney movies they never show you what happens to the princess and the king after they uh, kiss and live happily ever after? Like nobody like shows you what happens when they close the door, right? Oh my God, absolutely. <laughs> Who has ever spoken about the happily ever after? Mm -hmm. No one really knows. And how about when... Um, when you were little, like, did they, did they tell you Prince Charming and this right, whole idea? They, and, and they met for, like, three days. No, not even. Like, they saw each other in one uh -huh. date. And then suddenly that was the love of her life. And then suddenly happily ever after. But what does happily ever after mean? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like, how do you take the fantasy line? It's, it's so hard for us to cope, especially for us little girls, you know, like we have this fantasy lens um, growing up and then all of a sudden we're in the real world and we don't know how to cope, right? With the real world life because we are thinking the Prince Charming is coming to save us. And then at one point you hit a wall, a brick wall, <laughs> and then you realize that you have to save yourself, right? Because they don't tell you like the whole process of self-discovery and loving yourself first and you cannot give what you don't have. And then you end up like attracting the Peter Pan. So then you become a Cinderella yourself, which yeah. you're never going to be saved, right? Because you have to just basically date yourself before you can um, and be alone and be happy alone before you can. How scary. And what if the prince was the wrong one? What if you met? Next. <laughs> yeah, like they don't speak about that. How about like if you... They don't tell you how to do a breakup. Exactly. By the way, the podcast is called Break Up Like a Boss, in case you don't know. And this is based on our personal breakthroughs and breakups and makeups. <laughs> um, and from like a group of girls that we decided to, you know, just navigate the love life a little bit better. And we decided to do a lot of self-development spiritual work to find ourselves, love ourselves before we go into a relationship. And study because, about it, mm -hmm, which yeah. is the most important part. Yeah, it's very it's very important to know like uh, where your family limits, limiting beliefs were because you don't want to make the same mistakes as your mom and sometimes you end up living the dreams of your parents. So you have to be very aware of that, right? Because they have this idea of like, oh, you have to find this type of guy, this type of guy because they couldn't do it themselves, right? And for the men, it's the same thing that that sometimes has like these high expectations of business money and power for um, the, the men. And then, because they couldn't accomplish those dreams, now they have to dump that energy on you. So you have to break the fairy tale land and rivet the real world in the now. And we're gonna help you with the process because it's very interesting to like uh, understand what happens to your body when you go through a breakup, when you fall in love and you have the love uh, cocktail, basically. Oh God, and you that is like the hard <laughs> part. Yeah. Have you, like, has it, has it even happened to you? Because for me, it's like, for so many years, I deny myself. I was like, oh, I'm, I don't go through it because... Because mm -hmm. you don't fall in love. I don't fall in love. And, and because I don't fall yeah. in love, I don't officially fall. Yeah. <laughs> I never get to exactly. fall. Exactly. So that was part of my protection. Mm -hmm. And I would not allow anyone... Too close. Too close. Too deep. Good or bad. Um, and then the ones that were able to reach me were mostly the sociopaths, sociopaths, emotionally unavailable and the Peter Pans. Yeah. Basically. And, and the ones that like, they were like, you know, looking into pursuing something which was wrong because they had probably the mother issues mm -hmm. that the parents, you know, the mother didn't give them enough attention. And then they go after the woman Emotion that doesn't woman. pay attention to them. And then they're chasing the triggers because they need to mm -hmm. work them on themselves. They're not like chasing you. They're chasing the trigger. You know yeah. what I mean? Because you're and, rejecting And you them. taught me that the other day. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about like, I don't know what was the topic, but you wrote something about like what made the guys um, to have like those issues. You know, what type of issues do they have for them to be attracted to a woman, to a powerful woman who is completely emotionally unavailable, not paying attention to them, not treating mm -hmm. them well. Not and, even being nurturing. Yeah, no, no nurturing, caring. no care, no, no, nothing. So, um, what do you think about that? 
Because yeah, me, it's, 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 it was just shocking to see yeah. that there's a name for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's crazy. So like when I started doing the research after my divorce last year, then we found all this information. We're actually about to upload in the website, breakablackandballs.com, the scripts that we have used in the past hundreds of dates that we are testing people because what happens is that you go on a date and you don't know what questions to ask, right? Mm -hmm. What if you ask the same questions in the same way that FBI or CNA agent profiles the serial killers oh my or God. does the interview process? You can also profile your guy like this and we're going to teach you how. Make sure you log into the website, breakablackandballs.com.